greatest speedrunning achievement in SM64, if not in all of speedrunning, is upon us. But before I talk about that, as well as the person who I think will achieve this near impossible achievement, I have to quickly give some context as to what makes this achievement I'm about to talk about so special. SM64 has changed the landscape of speedrunning in ways that were inimaginable, and with this change and growth, it has become one of the most notorious speedrunning games to ever exist. We all know that SM64 introduced 3D Mario to the franchise, which allowed for a lot of different movement tricks and techniques, which in turn makes for a speedrun jam-packed with crazy movement tech, tricks, and glitches. However, another reason for its notoriety is the five main categories you can speedrun in SM64. We got 16 star, which is what most speedrunners start out with, 120 star where you collect every single star in the game, 70 star which serves as a good middle ground between 16 and 120 star, and then of course the elusive 0 and 1 star, which both require you to do this insanely difficult trick called SBLJ as well as much more. Given how optimized the game is, as well as how popular and competitive each individual category is, getting just one out of these five world records is more than enough to solidify yourself as a legendary speedrunner. Take Green Suiji for example. Before he got the 16 star world record, he was just grinding runs as per usual to improve his personal best. When world record for Suiji was out of the picture, he averaged no more than 40 viewers, but when world record was in the picture, he would start averaging hundreds of viewers and gaining thousands upon thousands of followers. This same thing has happened with an abundant amount of Super Mario 64 speedrunners, and some of them have gotten such a big boost from it that they were able to turn it into a relatively high paying career. Now if getting just one world record in SM64 is this impressive and life changing, imagine getting the world record in every single category at the same exact time. There have been people who have gotten world records in all 5 categories, but to my knowledge, none of them have gotten all 5 of them at the same exact time, or at least not in the last decade. However, a world record sweep may be upon us soon, and given all of the talent in this game, one person at least in my eyes stands out to me as the strongest contender for this achievement. Dude. Dude, 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 no, 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 no fucking way, <laughs> no fucking way, dude. Oh my god, dude. Despite Ouija getting the 120 star world record for the first time just a few weeks ago at the time of this recording, this would not be his first time obtaining a world record. In fact, when I first got into speedrunning myself back in 2018, I remember seeing Ouija get the 16 star world record for the first time with an impressive time of 1517. Since the world record in 2018, and even some breaks from SM64 to get world record in this other game, Ouija has gotten multiple 16 star world records with his most recent one being last year and also holds the world record for 70 star with a time of 4658. And to top it all off, he was only one second away from the one star world record with almost four seconds lost to SBLJ among other time saves. Now Ouija doesn't have a time submitted for zero star, but considering that one star skill directly transfers over to zero star, with the exception of you having to pull off a better SBLJ and, as you know, get one less star, my mind tells me that Ouija is more than capable of getting this world record too. Now I mentioned how competitive this game is and also how optimal you have to be to obtain a world record, but what I didn't mention was how Ouija compares with not only his world records, but the records of others and how much potential he has to smash all of them. Starting with Zero Star, Kano's current world record of 627 is very solid, and like his 1 star world record, it has stood the test of time for 2022. However, there are still a few seconds here and there to be shaved off, and like how I mentioned with 1 star, Ouija is one of the few players who is definitely capable of capitalizing on those small time saves. Moving on to 16 star, where of course Ouija holds a 1453, which is a pretty large gap from the 1443 that Green Suiji has. 
Weechee still holds some best exit times for 16 star and has even been on 14 3x pace multiple times with runs such as this one which were a few seconds ahead of Suiji out of HMC. However, I think this world record really comes down to who gets the time first as Suiji is actively grinding 16 star to improve his world record among a surplus of extremely talented and skilled runners. Then of course we got the infamous 70 star which stands at a time of 46.58 by none other than Weegee. To add to my never ending list of points of why I personally think Weegee is the chosen one for the speedrun achievement, I think his 70 star and especially his 120 star world record are perfect examples. The thing is, since Weegee goes for so many strategies and can pull off insane runs due to his sheer gameplay ability, he is able to bleed so much time, make the dumbest mistakes, and still get a world record that no one has beaten for over a year. In the last level alone, he lost 17 seconds, mainly because he messed up the Bowser throws. He also lost 10 seconds in Lethal Lava Land, another 8 seconds in Tall Tall Mountain, and of course he had smaller time saves throughout the run, such as 6 seconds in Shifting Sand Land. Since his world record, Ouija has been on pace many times to get a new world record, but it's just a matter of finally clutching out the run he's looking for. And finally, we make our way to Ouija's 120 star world record, with a time of 1 hour, 37 minutes, and 35 seconds. The fact that Ouija was able to jump from a high 138 to this world record is just absurd to think about on its own, but what is even more absurd is that I would not be surprised if Ouija did this again and broke the 137 minute barrier. Now of course this would be insanely difficult, but 136 is definitely in reach for not only Ouija but for the other top level level 120 star runners, even the strats used. It's really just a matter of pulling off every strat in a run, whether it be a bigger trick or a bunch of smaller movement tricks to save time here and there. And of course, minimizing error and maintaining consistency is very key to a speedrun as long as 120 star, so just cleaning up mistakes from past runs is more than enough for a new world record. When it comes to Ouija's world record, there is plenty of time save all throughout the run which yet again ties back to my point of playing so incredibly well that you are able to bleed significant chunks of time and still demolish a world record. I mean, he even golded a few splits or levels throughout the run meaning that those were the best that he had ever played those levels or in some cases, the best that anyone has ever played the level. But among all of his potential in his recent world records, Ouija is someone who has been around for a very long time like a bunch of other top SM64 speedrunners such as Punk A and Cheese. Given that he has put aside Super Mario Sunshine and gone full force on SM64, I don't think there's really anything stopping him from pulling off this insane achievement. However, at the end of the day, this is just my opinion and what I observe as a viewer and especially as someone who has consistently kept up with not only Mario 64 speedrunning, but with the the man himself, and maybe I'm just biased because Ouija wished me a happy birthday on Twitter one time. Anyways, I'd be very curious to hear what y'all had to say, and let me know if there's anything else that I should cover in the future. Also, if you enjoyed the video, then a sub or a like is very much appreciated. Until next time.